Ruga says multiple high level sources have stated the New York City Department of Correction is making arrangements for Donald J. Trump's arrival at Rikers Island in September. He tweeted this. This is uh, uh, just yesterday. President Trump will 100 percent be sentenced to prison on September 18th. I'm told the sentence will be one year. Could change the sentencing at this at the last minute. But he's definitely sentencing President Trump to at least one year. Take 100. K fam, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another reaction. This is Segovia coming to you live from the man cave. Hope everyone out there is having a good weekend, y'all. Happy Sunday. We made it. We got a good reaction today. A lot going on today out there in the world, y'all. We got UFOs popping up all over. Fish popping up on shores in San Diego. We got a leak of somebody's reputable saying Trump's going to be arrested in September. Getting prisons ready on Rock Rikers Island. I don't know. That's word on the street. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, y'all, these videos for entertainment purposes only, right? I'm not saying everything on these videos are facts, and I'm not saying everything's fiction. That's up to you guys to go out and do your research and find out what's real and what's not real. And if you don't agree with me, hey, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. But please, people, keep the comments clean. You don't gotta cuss me out and, and call me a government shill and all that. If if I don't, if my mindset isn't the same as your mindset, right? That's what makes us beautiful as humans beings. We all got different thoughts. Our wires are wired different different things are popping in and out of our brains that's what makes the world go around and makes this place beautiful lately everybody has been it's my way or you're evil right we don't rock like that over here y'all i don't tell you guys what you want to hear i tell you what you need to hear but anyways y'all i ain't gonna talk your ears off enough with the chit chat let's get into the reaction oh Look at this rock. Flipping those trees down like nothing. Need to be hiking through the woods with headphones on that day. Pretty cool though. in the water and if you pay attention you'll hear the police say get in the house there are several commands and then you'll hear light them up and then that's when you get the the, the fire We'll play it again. The, uh, you know, this is. Get in your house now! Let's go! Light him up! Go inside now! Get, inside. Get in the house! Ah! Get, the house. Ah! get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in! Get in. They're saying this might be what's going to happen to California. Got the clip coming up of the fish that washed up shore. The doomsday fish. We all remember everyone saying this is going to happen when we were little kids in California. Guys, you're gonna see this corn. I'm gonna open it. It's gonna blow your mind. Look, it's white. Why is it white? Maybe it's white corn. I don't know. Let's see if the cow eats it. Days, you wanna eat this? Can't fake that, right? Even the cows don't want to eat it. Dude, this is a fucking drone, bro. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. My God. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, I think, dude.
Crazy. This is actually happening. And like you guys watching this. Just waiting for the next clip. Isn't that crazy? Like, imagine this in the year 2000. UFOs popping up, people seeing it from Navy pilots. This is a Navy pilot. You can't see because the screen zoomed in. It's filmed by Navy pilots in 2015. Now imagine we saw this in 2000 and you guys were watching this clip in 2000. How like amazed we'd be. Like it, we'd, we'd be saying it to everybody. We'd be be talking about it right but it's just another clip here we're just so overwhelmed with data coming in our mind constantly because of these right it's a trip that's a freaking ufo y'all from a different dimension different galaxy or government technology either way it's crazy it's rotating. Dude, there's a fucking drone, bro. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. My gosh. They're all going against the wind. How mad is President Biden at Nancy Pelosi? You guys keep asking me this question. I think I've answered this question multiple times. Well, he has Isn't admitted now really for the first time in this interview that Pelosi is one of the Democrats who squeezed him out of the race. She thought he was going to sink the whole ticket. So how mad is he at her for yes. that? The president respects his good friend, former Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. And I think it's mutual. Aren't you guys sick of that lady? I know I'm sick of her. Can't stand. She, don't, she never answers a question. Never. Crazy stuff in the ocean. Y'all believe in or in outer space. Straight out the ocean. We got to talk about it. So y'all see this thing right here, right? First of all, my name is French Dose. I do this for educational and entertaining purposes only. Looks like a Halo 3 level. This right here is an alien. If y'all don't think that, I don't care what people have named this, right? Because the only reason why we know the name is because man gave it a name. But this right here is an alien. The ocean and outer space, when you pass the stars, they go, they run into each other somehow. So the flat earthers or the round earthers, I don't know how it works, but one of y'all is wrong. And this and, and, and this is what's happening. This is how we find in these creatures. That was literally a whole living mechanism. That, like it, it morphed into a blob and they caught it and pulled it out. And this is a whole different picture right here. This is just something different right here. This right here is uh, you could find these in Australia. That was in the oceans in America somewhere. Pay attention, people. These is alien, demon, devil creatures, man. And a lot of y'all be eating some of these foods. You know, but leave it in that. the comments, hit the like button, and make sure y'all follow me in for more. Pay attention to what you eating, man. Because y'all out here looking crazy. Like we all, hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> yeah. They don't. There we go. There's the face of the NBA, right? Partying with Diddy. In partying with Diddy, right? Now that all this is going on, I don't know, Diddy. I I, I hung out with him a couple times, right? <laughs> he asked him about Diddy. I hung out with him two times. I don't know. He gave me some free shoes, some free shirts. I showed up. I left before 10 o'clock. That's what they all say, huh? <laughs> I don't know if you guys believe in aliens or not, but apparently there's been multiple UFO sightings out of Palmdale, California in the past 24 hours. What the hell? What is that, Mom? We saw this in yesterday's what? video. Ma, you see this? No. Holy s***. What, what is, the hell is that? What is happening? Did I see this? Oh my god, what the f*** is happening? What is that? What is that? 
Like I'm talking like six, seven different people have called in saying that they've seen some sort of a flying saucer zigzagging in the sky. You go on X and some people are saying, me and my daughter were hanging out in the backyard when we both thought we saw a shooting star falling east. It stopped very abruptly and zigzagged going north. Checking to see if anyone else saw it if, or if we're both going crazy. Happened about 30 minutes ago. And then somebody else, a neighbor, says, you guys, Ooh. you won't believe what I just saw. Yeah. You guys, I saw a UFO. I was walking my dog in my backyard and saw a bright light up in the sky. At first I was like, oh my God, what a cool plane that Northrop assembled. But to my dismay, it was a hovercraft. Please tell me I'm not the only one who saw. Another person said, flying objects in the sky? Question mark. I was intrigued by the first neighbor who posted that he saw a UFO from his yard. So my mom and I went out to ours to see if we'd see anything. They were too far to me to confidently say they were flying saucers. But did anyone else see multiple? We counted six after being out there for about 10 minutes. Reported by people, residents of California's Palmdale and Lancaster areas. Apparently so many people were reporting this in that actual law enforcement and official folks are investigating the reports to see if there's any substance to them. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like I have white guy tacos and what does like that black, mean? Like mayonnaise and tuna? What are you doing? Pretty much ground beef and cheese. And That's milk. okay. Do yeah. you Can you imagine if Trump said I eat white guy tacos with ground beef and I don't remember what he said. Taco shells. Can you imagine what the media would do with that? Put any flavor in it? Uh, no. Oh. Um, here's the deal. <laughs> no, they said to be careful and let her know this, that black pepper is the top of the spice level in Minnesota, you know? I'm the first vice president, I believe, who has ever grown chili peppers. I'm you trying know to expand we'll my, uh, my food knowledge. You know, we've got some cantaloupes. Season. You'll be fine. Yeah. This was in El Paso, Texas. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. You got it on video? I can get it on video. It's crazy. Those are falling stars, and we have a lot of wishes. It's quiet out there. I thought it was an airplane at first. I'm like, wait, what is it? It's crazy. went across the sky pretty damn fast right you guys been seeing anything anybody out there in the family seen anything crazy in the sky i'm starting to look up a lot more at night when i go take my garbage cans out go check the mail look up see if i see anything haven't yet but you guys been seeing anything let's hit it ready ready Would not want to fall down there. Really, that's insane. Well, that Walls guy, I mean, I don't want to be too unfair because I don't know him. That guy's weird. He I'm seems so, very I'm strange. I'm sorry. Yes. There's something yeah. not right about that guy's personal life. That guy, not babysitting my kids. Like, no way. Yeah. I can't get past the core fact about Walls, which is he he presided over, allowed the biggest city in the state to get burned down. And seemed to not only allow it, but kind of we liked and it. support it. You know, kind well, yeah, of, Did you see the video you know? of his wife saying, I kept the windows open so I could smell the burning rubber from no, the riots? I did not, I did not see that. The, wow. The, the wife whose hand he shook. This is insane. UFOs were seen not just in California, but all over the world yesterday. We're gonna go over the California one, and then I'll show you some in Israel. Now, the really weird thing about this- Yeah, this one's is crazy. Me and a lot of other people have speculated that this might be the year of alien disclosure, and to further push that theory, aliens in the Super Bowl commercial, and aliens I in remember. the Olympics ending. So now we don't know what this is, but it looks like maybe UFOs or Police, I'm not sure something was blocking off the entire beach in California. Like, that's absurd, you guys. Some people are speculating that this is drones, which obviously it's not. And again, nah, all over the drones. world, 
and some people are saying that this is the U.S.'s technology, again, it's not just in California, it was everywhere. Ma, you see this? What? What, what is, the hell is that? What is happening? What is that? What is that? And then these two UFOs were caught in Israel. Go watch the video. It's insane. Also, don't forget That's about crazy. these things that have been popping up everywhere in the beginning of the year. Start with the Miami alien. Weird. So what do y'all think this is? Are we about to make contact? Let me know in the comments. Tony Saruga says multiple high level sources have stated the New York City Department of Correction is making arrangements for Donald J. Trump's arrival at Rikers Island in September. He tweeted this. This is uh, uh, just yesterday. President Trump will 100 percent be sentenced to prison on September 18th. I'm told the sentence will be one year, but we'll see. Could change the sentencing at this at the last minute. But he's definitely sentencing President Trump to at least one year. Rikers Island already has special accommodations ready. This is two months before the election. This has got 3.1 million views. I don't know what his source is. This guy is just uh, he's a contractor. He's a philanthropist. CIA whistleblower. Is, 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 that what, is that what he says? CIA, NSA contractor, whistleblower, Intel ops. Yeah, I'm assuming he's probably got some sources, but it is all rumors right now. Yeah. However, Hannah Claire made a good point. Kamala is not committing to any dates past uh, uh, September 10th for a debate because she maybe knows something Trump doesn't. Mm -hmm. There you go. Like I won't be surprised, y'all. They do not want him in that White House. They don't. I won't be surprised, right? It could be a trip, but re I remember everyone saying Biden's going to drop out. Now, this was early in the year before the news was saying it before anybody, right? On the PBD podcast, people were going on there predicting he's going to fall. He's going to fall out. And they said it's going to be Kamala, right? Maybe Gavin Newsom, but the left can't override a minority woman woman vice president right they're gonna have to make her because that goes against everything they say and sure enough they said by the democratic convention that it was gonna happen and sure enough it happened y'all so we're, we gotta we gotta pay attention to this little thing that they said about trump september 18th so we'll be getting more into that what a condition one in antarctica is really like <laughs> This is crazy right here. <laughs> Look at this ice box. Check this out. <laughs> this is the uh, entryway to our dorm. Normally this has carpet on the ground and the walls are just normally walls, you know. But um, we're going to open the door right now. It's a little bit like opening up the door to another yes. world. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> It's a little bit blowy out there right now. <laughs> Global warming, huh? That's a weird thing to see out here. There is a capsized boat. You can see the trolling motor. You can see the anchor line running down. It's got a T-top. We got the FL numbers. We marked its location. When we get in, we'll send it to Coast Guard. But it's just, yeah, it's absolutely mind boggling. That is eerie, right? To stumble across that. But what are you doing in a little boat like that in the middle of the ocean? These people must just grow up on the ocean that that's nothing right because i used to run in arizona on the mountains 115 degree weather no water right i'd go run the mountains i'd leave the water in the car and so if something would have happened to me people would have been like what is this idiot doing out there on the mountain 115 at three o'clock in the afternoon with no water right because that's probably because i've been doing it my whole life so i'm just it's the normal for me right that's probably what this dude was doing with this little paddle boat in the middle of that ocean that's an eerie thing to say no, that's why you go on calm days and be prepared. Not something you see every day, right there. That's a weird feeling. Got the FLs, marked its location. Look forward to the Coast Guard. Finally, an interview from Kamala. Yes. With Tim Walls? 
country. What? It pains me the kind of division and, and the stoking of divisions that has taken place, yes. right? And when we can remind people and create a, a space for everyone to come where they see each other That's and the say, magic. hey, you they're, know, they're we're being... all in this together. I want to see her go. I would love to see her go on a Tucker Carlson, right? I don't think he's going to be rude and talk over her. He seems respectful like a professional interviewer or a Joe Rogan, right? Joe Rogan's kind of unbiased, right? He's going to ask her questions and the questions she needs to be answered or she needs to answer. I would love to see her on that. Not a fucking interview with Tim Waltz. Like, really? <laughs> There's another oh one. Oh, my God. Look at that. I was walking to the trash, it had like a ray of lights, like, pulsing off of it. It was weird. What is? No. It's a... Bro. There's nothing up there but a light. I've actually never seen anything like this. But, I, I mean... Or in your car. Go. Ominous sighting, an oarfish washed up at La Jolla Shores over the weekend. Now, the group of beachgoers who spotted it carried the fish on a paddleboard up the beach and then put it in a truck bed and turned it over to Scripps to be tested. It's unclear exactly how big this fish was, but most oarfish measure anywhere between 10 and 30 feet long. In some areas, the fish is considered a preview of bad news or a natural disaster like an earthquake or tsunami. In 2011, more than 20 oarfish washed ashore in Japan just a few months before that 9.1 magnitude. Wow. I didn't watch that full clip, right? I didn't know that. That was reported on the news, right? So it's real. <laughs> but... Damn, that's crazy. I didn't know that. And then what? That's crazy. Oh my god. Oh, is it one of those? <laughs> I didn't see the way it should have done. Look at the girls all oh, looking like this. Oh, look at the girls up here. Just look at them. Look at the girls over there. I think it's long. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. She might turn into it. Oh, there we go. I mean, if this don't smell like I don't know what does, folks. Now, why would a 20-year-old, well, you can see, walks around with his head up his ass, know or need pre cryptic accounts? Pre-encrypted accounts on his phone. Two hours before they saw him, they said he was suspicious. Okay, doesn't somebody suspicious at least deserve, hey, guy, how you doing? What's your name? What are you doing around here? And then you go, well, he's got a rangefinder. Well, how about a suspicious kid with a rangefinder? Doesn't that deserve, how'd you get here? Where you from? What's going on? I don't know what's going on here, folks. I used to see things happening in these third world countries, you know, Yemen, Haiti, God knows where, with all kinds of shit going on. And I'm, now I'm starting to wonder, well, we got the same thing. The only difference with us is it's a little more dressed up. So when Obama was president, a guy climbed over the White House fence, ran this. all the way to that. the door, oh, to the front yeah. door of the White House, got inside the White House. Right. And it was a woman stopped. in there or something? He got, he got halfway up the steps, you know, into the, the residential quarters. So why wasn't he stopped? Because the guy in the booth thought that the guy at the fence was going to stop him. The guy at the fence missed him and said, well, the canine's going to get yeah. him. The canine guy didn't get him because he was on the phone with his girlfriend. And then the guy inside said, I don't want to get him because the dog is going to come and I don't want the dog to bite me. Shit happened. All right, family, there you have today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was a good one. A lot of crazy UFO stuff going on. A lot of crazy cool UFO videos coming out. Yeah, right? You know, the, the, the doomsday fish. I didn't know that about the Japan earthquakes. A couple months later, that 9.1 hit. I didn't know that, right? Something else to keep an eye on in the, in the oncoming videos, right? A lot of crazy stuff going on, y'all, and I'm here to document it for you guys. So if you guys made it this far, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, comment. I do daily uploads. New video on my second channel, link down below. 
it's gonna be up today y'all we're gonna start doing sunday monday wednesdays fridays over there and probably next month i'll start doing probably daily uploads over there but for right now we're gonna do four uh, four uploads a month or four uploads a week i'm sorry so link for to that channel is down below when we get to a thousand subscribers over there we're gonna do a giveaway we just hit 5,000 subscribers over here, y'all. Appreciate all the love, y'all. I never would have thought when I first started this. My first video a long time ago was me uh, running a mountain. That was my first video I ever uploaded. And uh, the goal was, just, I don't even know what the goal was. I was just i was just running. I used to talk on my Snapchat all the time after I ran the mountain, just give some game, give some knowledge that I'm feeling from running the mountain. And I just decided to put the phone out and put it up on YouTube. And, and look where we're at now, doing reactions to TikTok videos. And uh, we're at 5,000 subscribers, y'all. So I thank you guys. When we get to 10,000, though, remember, I said I'm going to do a big giveaway. Let's hit that subscribe button, y'all. This is Segovia. I'm signing out of the Man Cave. Hope everyone out there has a good Sunday with your family. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.